I've been using Asana for years. I started out on the free version, just using it for basic task tracking, and honestly, I thought that was enough. I had my projects, my to-do lists, my due dates, it all worked fine. But then I upgraded to Asana's paid version and oh my God, I'm even more in love. <laughs> it gave me access to features I didn't even know I needed. And now I can't imagine running my business without them. <laughs> Hi, I'm Samantha, here to help online coaches, freelancers, and other small service-based entrepreneurs organize and streamline their business operations so that they can save time and mental energy and focus on what they love to do. And one of my absolute favorite tools for that, Asana. <laughs> I've been utilizing and optimizing the free version for years now and teaching others how to do it too, but since experimenting with the paid version in recent months, I cannot wait to share my thoughts and experiences with you. Have you ever upgraded to a paid tool and wondered, is this actually worth it? Like, is it really going to make a difference in how I work or am I just spending money for features I'll barely use? Well, I did exactly that with Asana's paid features and let me tell you, it was a game changer. It took my business from organized to next level efficient. And now I honestly can't imagine working without these features. I'm going to share my absolute favorite Asana paid features and exactly how they've transformed the way that I work. And if you're on the fence about upgrading, by the end of this video, you'll have a crystal clear idea of whether these features are worth it for you. Because honestly, not everyone needs them. And trust me, there's one feature I started using that I didn't even realize I needed, and now I cannot function without it. I'll tell you which one that is in just a bit. Plus, I've got an exciting idea for a deep dive workshop on how I use these features to systemize and repurpose my content. So if you want an inside look at how I track and maximize every single piece of content I create, stick around because I'll tell you how to get in on that too. Okay, let's dive in. <laughs> I have to talk about custom fields because honestly, this feature has unlocked so many new levels of organization for me. I thought I was organized before, but this, this took everything to a whole new level. Not only can you further categorize tasks, but you can completely customize how you view and manage your projects. It's amazing. <laughs> and that might not sound like a big deal at first, but once you do start using it, wow. <laughs> but here's what really blew my mind. The ability to create different views based on how you sort and group custom fields. This is one of those, how did I not know I needed this moments? So for example, in my YouTube content planning project, I've set up custom fields to track everything. And the best part is that I have different views for different stages of my workflow. So I have my pipeline view. This shows exactly where each video is in the production process. Has the script been written? Is it recorded but waiting to be edited? This keeps everything moving smoothly without me needing to dig through multiple tasks. Next is my calendar view. I love this view because I can visually see my content schedule. So no more guessing when a video is going live. I can instantly spot gaps, make adjustments, and ensure I have a well-balanced content plan. And then I have my idea bank. This is where all my future video ideas live. So instead of scrolling through random notes on my phone or sticky notes on my desk, every single idea is in one place and I can tag them based on topic, priority, or estimated effort. And then I have my repurposing tracker. This is the chef's kiss of my system. <laughs> every time I post a video, I make sure I maximize every piece of content by tracking where and how it's repurposed, whether it's turned into a blog post, an email, a podcast episode, or something else. No more guessing what's been used and where. And the best part, all of these views share the same information, but display it in a different way. So I only see what's relevant depending on what I'm working on. So it's not super cluttered with the things that I don't need to be seeing in that view. <laughs> it's like having multiple dashboards for the same project, which has seriously supercharged my efficiency. Honestly, I didn't even realize how much time and energy I was wasting before this. <laughs> now I can just look at the right view and not see anything I don't need at that particular time. Like I don't need to be seeing all of my future ideas when I'm planning out next week's video. It's flipping amazing and I cannot wait to share the details with you someday soon. Speaking of, if you would love a full breakdown of my content system in Asana, including exactly how I use rules, custom fields, and more, I'm thinking about hosting an in-depth workshop on it. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you would be interested in. 
I can go deep on how I use the system to repurpose content, track statistics, and keep everything organized from start to finish. And trust me, once you see it all in action, it is amazing. <laughs> so if you comment, let me know if there's anything specifically you'd be interested in learning about this system. And make sure that you sign up for my email newsletter so that you're the first to hear about it. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't fully optimized the rules feature yet, but even the small ways I've been already using rules have made a huge impact to my workflow. And I know that once I dive deeper, it's only going to get better. I've mainly been testing them out in my content creation process, and honestly, it's been amazing. <laughs> Even just one well-placed rule has saved me so much time and removed so many manual steps. For example, I have a single automation that completely streamlines my YouTube workflow. So the moment I assign a publish date to a YouTube video, Asana automatically does the following. It adds my templated subtasks, so everything from scripting to editing to thumbnail design. It assigns those subtasks across my team so everyone knows exactly what they're responsible for. And it sets due dates for each task relative to the scheduled publish date. So my VA, for example, gets assigned her tasks the week before, while my promo tasks get triggered closer to the live date and day of tasks are all automatically added to the live date. And just that one automation, game changer. <laughs> Before this, I had to manually set up due dates for each task for every new video, which wasn't a huge time suck, but it did add up, especially when managing multiple projects at once. But now it all happens instantly and I never have to worry about something getting missed. And the best part, this is just one small way to use rules. I'm still discovering all the different ways I can automate my workflow. And every time I test out a new rule, I get a little bit more obsessed. <laughs> I have to say, I am pretty proud of how quickly I've adapted to these paid features and I'm only scratching the surface. I'm already thinking about new ways to incorporate these advanced features into my products and services, and I can't wait to show you more. Now I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments. What Asana paid features do you want me to cover next? Or if you have any questions about how I set this up, drop them below. Okay, so next up is forms. I'm currently in the process of moving all of my Google forms and website forms into Asana forms, and I have to say, I'm already pumped. <laughs> like, why did I not do this sooner? <laughs> I knew Asana forms would be useful, but I didn't realize just how much time and mental energy they would save me. Instead of manually tracking responses across multiple platforms, ugh, everything is now seamlessly integrated inside my Asana workflow or everything will be, some things are. <laughs> so here's what is so amazing about it. So I get instant lead capture. So for example, when someone fills out my back pocket support application form, their details are automatically added to my leads project in Asana. So no more manually copying and pasting information from emails or spreadsheets. It's all there neatly organized. All the information is in one place. So every single response from the form gets captured right inside the Asana task so I never have to go searching for information later. I don't have to dig through my inbox, scroll through messages, or wonder, wait, where did they say they needed help? It's all in Asana, exactly where I need it. So the moment a new lead submits an application, I get an instant notification in Asana. No more delays. If someone is interested in working with me, I can follow up quickly while they're still engaged. And I don't have to worry about checking my email inbox. It shoots off a notification to me where I'm active, the most throughout the workday, right in the sauna. Oh my God, such a time saver. <laughs> so right now I'm still in the process of moving everything over, but after seeing how much smoother my back pocket support intake has become, I'm all in. <laughs> Next on my list is client onboarding forms so that I can streamline the process of gathering key details for new projects. And this way, I don't have to copy and paste client information into Asana, which I am currently doing because ultimately I do want everything inside Asana, my central hub. This is where I manage my clients, so it only makes a sense. I'm also going to transfer over my client feedback forms so that I can have the feedback go exactly where I need it, either into the product or service management project, instead of hiding away in Google Forms responses. This is super helpful because then it's already in Asana so that I can assign it as a task to add to my website or just store it there for future updates. Have you tried Asana forms yet? If you're still using Google forms, type form or website contact forms, trust me, moving to Asana forms is so worth it. 
So let me know in the comments if you've tried them yet. If so, how are you using them in your business? And if not, what's stopping you? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So here's how these features can transform your business. So with custom fields, your projects will be 10 times more organized. Before, your projects might feel somewhat structured, but something always seems to be missing. Custom fields change the game by letting you categorize and filter tasks exactly how you need. You can create different views for different workflows, making it easier to focus on what matters most. No more clicking through endless tasks, trying to find the right information. It's all beautifully sorted and giving you instant clarity and efficiency. And rules are automation that saves you mental energy. So it's easy to underestimate how much tiny repetitive tasks eat up your time until you start using rules. Instead of manually adding subtasks, assigning due dates, or updating statuses, Asana does it for you. It's like having a built-in assistant that keeps everything moving without you having to lift a finger. And the best part, you don't have to remember to do all of these things anymore because Asana takes care of them automatically. And with forms, no more manual lead management. Your lead and client intake process feels messy. Scattered emails, DMs, notes everywhere. Forms will change everything for you. When a potential client fills out an application, their details instantly get added to your Asana leads project. No more searching, no more copy and pasting, no more extra admin work, just a smooth, stress-free intake process that keeps everything in one place. These features are just the beginning. The more you use them, the more ways you'll find to streamline your workflow and save time. And as your business grows, Asana's paid features will continue to help you scale efficiently without adding extra work to your plate. If this all sounds amazing, but you're thinking, this looks great, but I don't have time to figure out how to set it all up. I got you. <laughs> Inside my back pocket support service, you can get help setting up your own custom Asana systems so you don't have to figure it out all on your own. You'll have me in your corner, ready to answer questions, troubleshoot, and help you create the systems that actually work for your business. So go to samanthacasbrick.com slash back pocket to learn more and sign up. And if you want that deep dive content repurposing workshop I mentioned earlier, be sure to let me know in the comments sign up for my email newsletter, and I'll put something together. Okay, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this and want more Asana tips, be sure to subscribe because I've got more coming soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.